Either I'm gonna get in a lot of trouble for this, or this is gonna be the most helpful thing on the planet. Hey friends, it's your good friend Tim Campbell Smith, and today we are talking about how to use ChatGPT or any AI program ethically in university or college. Now, this is gonna be a hot topic, and the first thing that I wanna say, and this is probably the most important legal disclaimer I'll make in my YouTube career, talk to your profs and your instructors first, and always consult your school's program uh, policies. You are bound by those rules first. Whatever I may say today, whatever I may teach you in this video, you are first and foremost bound by the rules of your school. And whatever you hear from me does not supersede the rules of your school. So please check the rules of your school on the use of AI in assignments because it's going to be changing and evolving and some schools and areas handle it very differently. Before we go too far, make sure you like and subscribe for all things photography, mental health, school, life. Let's talk about how to use AI. And ironically, I feel like I should say, no, I did not ask AI to help develop this script and my talking points for today. I did this all on my own. But I would say the first thing, and actually the guiding theme for how to use AI in ChatGPT, if you will, ethically, morally, in a way that supports your learning and frankly, doesn't get you in trouble, is to use AI as a springboard to other places and to other things. It's a great springboard for other things, but it should not be evident in what was compiled and submitted in, for review by your instructor. And, and there's a lot to unpack with that, and I've tried to choose those words carefully. Let me say this. Let's actually start with how not to use it and ways of using AI and ChatGPT that will actually get you into a lot of trouble. Please note, I'm also coming at this, I'm gonna say from a bit of a position of authority as someone who teaches in higher ed. I currently, at the time of recording, teach in higher ed. I have taught in higher ed and I'm going back as a student. So I know a little bit about this from both perspectives. So let's talk about how not to use it so that you don't get in trouble. First, do not use anything that it writes especially word choices from a teacher's perspective. And when um, the institution that I teach at, we're at the time of recording, we're pretty strict on, on how to use it. And basically almost entirely say don't use it. One way that we can tell students have used it and they've used it, especially in their writing and what they submit are the word choices. AI, ChatGPT kind of write like educated conservative men and they, they use certain phrases and certain words and the way that they repeat it over and over um, it's as an instructor when you're reviewing a bunch of assignments it's really easy to tell and the first telltale that you used it and how i don't want you to use it is to use any of the exact language it gives you so do not ask it to write any essays don't ask it to write code i have um, a friend who who works in coding and apparently it now coders can tell when code was written or developed by AI because it writes code a certain way. Don't ask it for citations, especially because it makes it tends to make them up. No artwork, no math proofs. I also know people who study math who've used AI to help them with math. And more and more schools are adopting this process where they will actually, like a prof or a TA, will interview a student to ask them about their work and to see if they know what they're talking about. So don't use it for math either. The uh, the overarching theme here, um, which helps then rule in what we can use it for, just don't copy and paste anything from AI, from ChatGPT. Just don't do it. So then what can you use it for? Here's a few really clever ways of using AI in college and university that generally won't get you in trouble. First, ask it to explain things to you that you don't fully understand. You can, especially if you're writing an essay or doing research work on something that you are not 100% familiar, maybe even an authority on, you can ask it to explain other concepts to make sure that you cover all your bases. Next, you can get it to suggest research sources. So just like we have a problem with it making up sources and citations, you can actually ask it for a different uh, additional um, sources and go into those. Use that as a springboard to other sources for other research. Next, ask it to summarize a body of work. So what you can do is you can give it maybe an article, an essay, something and say, can you summarize it? What do you think are the most important parts? Can you give me suggestions from it? So that you understand how it would structure its own arguments. Another smart way that I think makes for really great essay writing, depending on your program, 
ask AI for counter arguments to your point so that if to make sure you cover all your bases, but you're also just having a stronger argument by knowing how can arguments be made against your own argument or your own writing and you can incorporate that. This is also good because then it shows you any considerations you didn't make so that you can include more and better research sources. With that, and, and with all this discussion of sources though, I want to say, and I want to remind you, please fact check the sources. AI still, in its early days and at the time of recording, still has a problem with making up sources and citations. And fun fact, more and more of us instructors are actually checking sources to make sure that they're real. So check the sources that it's giving you. Next, ask it to analyze your writing and suggest improvements. Don't take, if they rewrite it for you, don't take that uh, because that could be deemed as plagiarism and cheating, but ask it just for general suggestions or an overall review of your writing. Again, another telltale way that we would be able to tell if you'd copied and pasted this, AI notoriously has perfect grammar perfect grammar, um, al almost if not near perfect punctuation as well. We expect students, especially in college and university, to be making mistakes, even one or two. AI makes none. So that's why you don't copy and paste that. Next, and this is my favorite way that I've used it as a student, upload the rubric for an assignment into AI and ask it to tell you what it thinks the most important part of the assignment is. This way, if you look at a rubric and you go like, I'm not quite sure where the prof wants me to focus or where I need to spend more time or more energy, you can upload the rubric and ask AI to help you figure that out. That way you know where to direct more of your efforts. Next, and I've used this ironically for the word like next in, in my own statements, in my own writing, ask it for alternative phrases. So I know um, weaker essay writers will tend to rely for transitions and bridges, will rely on first, secondly, thirdly, finally. And those are kind of, frankly, lazy and boring. You can ask AI for better transitions or bridges or just alternative phrases. And my last one, and I've had fun with this uh, as a student, ask AI to draft sample test and exam questions. This works better for your intro level courses than it does your more advanced ones. That said, to test this before sharing it in the video, I did ask it for, um, I'd seen a course on second, technically a third year advanced biochemistry course and I said hey ChatGPT, can you suggest 10 multiple choice exam questions that would be in an advanced biochemistry course that touches on these topics and it did and it was really helpful for studying and really cool the other thing um, and this is something you could do with prompts with AI is then you can say okay give me 10 more give me 10 more give me the answers, please explain the answers, and you can learn that way. So it makes a great, almost like a sparring partner when it comes to studying. In conclusion, which if I had ChatGPT here, I would ask it for a better bridge. It's a, AI, ChatGPT are great springboards in education for other places to tell you where to, give you ideas, sorry, of where to go research things, where to further investigate, how to make your arguments better, um, and stuff like that, but do not, and I can't stress this enough, do not copy and paste anything that it gives you because that constitutes cheating and plagiarism. And then you're not really learning the material or demonstrating that you've learned it or made it your own. Don't copy anything. And remember, you are always bound by the rules and policies of your school. So no, no matter what I've taught you today, always follow your school's policies and rules. Comment and let me know, are there other ethical ways of using AI and ChatGPT in school that can be helpful? I'm sure there's way more. As always, make sure you like and subscribe for all things photography, career, life, mental health, you name it. Otherwise, we'll chat soon. Bye for now.